Seventh grade, unit seven, lesson six, building polygons, part one, illustrative mathematics. Problem number one, a rectangle has side lengths of six units and three units. Could you make a quadrilateral that is not identical using the same four side lengths? If so, describe it. That's simple. You can take the rectangle and tilt it. The side lengths are still the same, but it's not identical to the original rectangle. Problem number two, come up with an example of three side lengths that cannot possibly make a triangle and explain how you know. I could use one inch, 1.5 inches, and 0.5 inches, and it doesn't make a triangle because two of the side lengths are too short to touch one another. Problem number three from seventh grade unit seven lesson three, find X, Y, and Z. That means they want us to find the missing measure for angles X, Y, and Z. These two angles are directly across from one another. They're called vertical angles, and vertical angles have the same angle measure. That means that angle X is 64 degrees. These two angles are also vertical angles, so angle Y is 18 degrees. Z is a little bit trickier because its vertical angle is missing its measure. Angles Z, X, and 18 degrees are along a straight line, so we know that the sum of those three angles will be 180 degrees. Z plus 64 plus 18 equals 180. 64 plus 18 is 82, so we can rewrite it as Z plus 82 equals 180. To solve for z, we need to subtract 82 from both sides of the equal sign. 82 minus 82 is 0, and 180 minus 82 is 98. So angle z is 98 degrees. Problem number 4 from 7th grade unit 7 lesson 1. How many right angles need to be put together to make each of the following angles? Here's just one right angle, and a right angle is 90 degrees. Here's two right angles. 90 plus 90 equals 180. So B, 180 degrees, is made up of two right angles. And this straight angle is also made up of two 90 degree angles. Three right angles, or 90 times three, is 270. So C, 270 degree angle, is made up of three 90 degree angles, or three right angles. Add a fourth right angle and you have 90 times 4, which is 360. So A, 360 degrees, is made up of four right angles. Problem number five from 7th grade unit 6, lesson 8. Solve each equation. First, we need to multiply the term on the outside of the parentheses by all the terms on the inside of the parentheses. 1 7th times x plus 1 7th times 3 fourths. You can rewrite this as 1 7th x plus 3 28 equals 1 over 8. To get x by itself, we need to subtract 3 28 from both sides of the equal sign. For 1 8 minus 3 28 I need to find a common denominator. I think I'll use 56. So 7 times 8 is 56, and 7 times 1 is 7. So that turns into 7 over 56. And 28 times 2 is 56, and 3 times 2 is 6. 7 56 minus 6 56 is 1 56. We need to multiply both sides by the reciprocal of 1 7th, and that's 7 over 1. So on the left side, we have 1x, or x, and on the right hand side, we have 1 over 8. So x equals 1 8th. Again, we need to multiply the term on the outside of the parentheses by both terms on the inside of the parentheses. 0 0.6 times w plus 0 0.6 times 0 0.4. 0 0.6 times 0 0.4 is 0 0.24. So we can rewrite this as 1.5 equals 0 0.6 w plus 0 0.24. To get the term with the w by itself, we need to subtract 0 0.24 from both sides of the equal sign, which leaves us with 1.26 equals 0 0.6 w. To make it just one w, we need to divide both sides by 0 0.6. w equals 2.1. Multiply the terms inside the parentheses by 3 fourths, 3 fourths times z plus 3 fourths times 2 thirds, 
3 fourths times 2 thirds. We can cross cancel and that's worth 1 half. So we can rewrite this as 9 halves equals 3 fourths z plus 1 half. To get the z by itself, we need to subtract 1 half from both sides of the equal sign. 9 halves minus 1 half equals 8 halves. 1 half minus 1 half equals 0. So this can be rewritten as 8 halves equals 3 fourths z. To make that 1z, we need to multiply both sides by the reciprocal of 3 fourths, which is 4 thirds. When you multiply a number by its reciprocal, the answer is always 1. So here on the right hand side, we end up with 1z or z. And on the left hand side, we end up with 16 thirds. So z equals 16 thirds. Again, we multiply all the terms on the inside of the parentheses by the number on the outside of the parentheses. 0 0.08 times 7.97 plus 0 0.08 times v equals 0 0.832. To get the v alone, we need to subtract 0 0.6376 from both sides of the equal sign. And to make that 1v, we need to divide both sides by 0 0.08. So now we have 1v or v equals 2.43. Problem number six from seventh grade unit four, lesson three. A, you can buy four bottles of water from a vending machine for $7. At this rate, how many bottles of water can you buy for $28? If you get stuck, consider creating a table. The information tells us that you can buy four bottles of water for $7. And they'd like to know how many bottles of water you can buy for $28. Since 28 is four times larger than seven, then you can buy four times as many water bottles. Four times four is 16. So with $28, you can buy 16 bottles of water. B, it costs $20 to buy five sandwiches from a vending machine. At this rate, what is the cost for eight sandwiches? If you get stuck, consider creating a table. The information tells us that you can buy five sandwiches for $20. They'd like to know what is the cost for buying eight sandwiches. Five times four is 20, or 20 divided by five is four, so it's $4 per sandwich. Eight sandwiches times $4 per sandwich equals $32. So to buy eight sandwiches, it would cost $32. Subscribe to my channel and watch the next lesson. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.